Hi everyone, it's Dorothy Fitzer. Welcome back to another episode of the Embodied Soul Center's Practice Tips. I made a quick break outside. I don't know if you can tell, we just had a quick downpour. But I know everyone prefers the beautiful backdrop of my backyard. So, here I am. Today I want to go back to exploring the weight shift we were working on several weeks ago. Okay, shifting gently from one side to another keeping the pelvis fairly level, like a typewriter, going back and forth, or, or a waiter's push cart. And if you've been with me before, what we were working on was feeling the weight going through each of the toes of each foot. And what I want to work on with today is a concept that uh, I derived from Qigong and Tai Chi, which is the sense of getting the weight to go back down the backs of the legs. It's a wonderful thing, but I found a lot of people have trouble finding it. And there's a little trick that I think is very helpful. And it's a little, we're going to play with our imagination for a moment. So I want you to imagine you have no legs. So your, your, your body ends here, but you have feet at the base of your pelvis. Okay, they'll stand a little further back. See, so right here. So this would be the heel of my hiney foot. So right in here, <laughs> not to get personal. And so as you're shifting weight back and forth, I want you to feel, as you're shifting over the left leg, can you allow the weight of your torso to go into this imagined heel of your hiney foot, the heel that's right at the bottom of your buttocks. And then as you shift to the right, can you feel it going, the weight going into the heel of this imagined foot underneath the right side of the buttocks. And it's a really good idea to play with this because most of us have a tendency to, and I, to be honest, I haven't seen anyone yet that hasn't, I'm not saying everyone does, but I haven't seen them, for the weight to go down the front of the legs. And what happens is that makes the quadriceps really grip, which really tightens the hip and very much reduces mobility, as well as that con chronic contraction of the quadricep pulls on the kneecap and prevents it from tracking properly. Okay, and so we're shifting back and forth. And there's, in, in movement, and I've worked on this a lot through the side of Qigong and Tai Chi and then the side of Feldenkrais, there's this um, incredible balance and harmony we're trying to find between a sense of safety and stability through the body, the structure of the body, as well as a sense of freedom and mobility. So how can I move freely without falling over? And that is also a dilemma of the psyche. So it's a lot of fun to work on it with our bodies because as I've been mentioning in the telesummit that's going on right now, our primary sense of self is actually sensate because that was our first sense of self as a small baby and a young child. And so the more you can create this sense of free stability, the more you can start to unconsciously feel safe and secure in, your, in, in yourself and be able to trust yourself so that I can take, take care of myself as I move out in the world with a sense of freedom. So we'll be working on that sense of freedom with your piney feet right now. <laughs> I have a three year old so I use the word hiney a lot. So and if you, if you can't feel it, sort of touch back here, you know, and, and get a sense the weight can go into each side as you shift from side to side. I'm going to play with one more thing. And what I want you to feel is as you're shifting from side to side between your hiney feet, are you shifting more to the outside or the inside? And again, almost across the board, what I see with most people is they tend to sit into the hip. So what I want you to practice with is if you can get the weight to primarily go on the inside part of the hiney heel, meaning the inside part of the, and you can see it's raining, <laughs> the inside uh, inside part of the back of the thigh. Okay, so, and you can also mimic it with your actual heels, really loading the weight into the inside of the hiney heel and the right heel, loading the weight into the inside of the left hiney heel and actual heel, and play with that. And, and it can load and push off, load and push off. And what's it like to push off with the inside of your hiney heels? And what will happen is it, it can create this kind of jackrabbit pouncy feel which is a lot of fun and you'll notice the more you can get it going back there the more the hips start to loosen up the more the quads can relax 
And when, when force is feeding through the body in, in a harmonious way, in a clear way, rather than being gripped to held up, hold up, there's, um, you, start, you start releasing more and more of this extraneous, unnecessary tension, and then the more the body will feel safe. And the more this relaxes, the more I can turn easily from the hip. And the ability to turn easily from the hip, one, is going to massage your internal organs and really create health from the inside out. That's an important part of Tai Chi and Qigong. But it's also really going to save your knees and your back. So I better stop because it's starting to rain a lot. But play with those hiney heels and really feeling load and push and load and push. It's a lot of fun. Okay, take care. Until next week. My bestie.